everybody, it is Kat again, and it's been a little bit, I can't remember exactly when I uploaded anything, um, but lately I've been sick, I just got over something, and then I just had a project for, um, my class that's parenting, and I had to take care of a fake baby over the weekend, so I'm really tired, so if I say anything twice, if I say anything wrong, if I pronounce anything wrong, just ignore it. You know, you can like put it in the comments box, you know, because I may not know the correct way to say or anything. Um, but just uh, kind of ignore most of it because I only got like a two hour, n like I came home from school and had a two hour nap. So, and I only had like two hours of sleep last night because the thing kept me up all night. So, today, I actually started reading more into this beautiful book, I might say, since I just smacked myself with it. Um, this book, I have had for a long time, and I haven't really got into it, into it. I've read things on the internet, um, I've asked people things, but I've never really actually gotten into this book. And actually, the farthest I am at is page 16. Now, that is because I write the things down that I think that are, are most important, and I go from there. My book, though, for this, my notebook, has been through crap. Yes, and I plan to transfer all of my notes and stuff from this book and my other book that my sister has right now um, to another notebook. Just because my um, handwriting has changed a little bit. Um, right now it's a lot. You can tell where I stopped and picked up at. Because it goes from, I got like chocolate or something on my pages too. So that's probably pretty yummy looking. Um, I went from, you can tell, like from the top to... Right here. Like you can definitely tell that I have different handwriting now. So, a few things that I have uh, learned though, and right now I'm in the, correct me if I'm wrong, deities. Um, I'm learning about, the, I already learned about the goddess. Um, and the, right now I'm learning about the god, I believe. Um, make sure I'm correct because I'm not always right even though I think I am I've already yeah I've already learned about the goddess I'm learning about the god right now so I was reading this today and I learned that um a red candle you can use for for the god and a green one to honor the goddess but what I also knew that I found out today was that green and red are ancient magical colors that are linked with life and death. And I find that really interesting considering um, the Mexican flag, for instance. That's really cool. I think in, in Christmas, the Christmas colors. Um, and I learned that you could also use yellow or gold to also honor the god and white or silver for the goddess um and i thought it really didn't you could use a, a white candle which you can you can use a white candle for any replacement of color but i found it really interesting that you could use yellow or gold for the god and um i'm actually going to look into that because and if you know anything about why that is um my other books um uh, I said stuff about what can all the candles represented, like the colors and all that. And I really wish I had that with me because it was super helpful um, if I want to do a ritual and I wanted a certain thing. Um, but I found that really interesting because I've never ever thought that. Something like that could be, you know, just 
use. It scared me. My phone just lit up by itself. And the fact that you can use white or silver for the goddess. Now, I understand that because when women tend to age, you get like the white, silver hairs. Um, I know men do too, but women are more prone to get to have that happen. Um, let's see. What else did I learn? I learned a lot today. Ooh. Sorry, my things on a charger right now because it died earlier on me. Um. I learned the different um, god god names. Um, I hope I'm saying these right. There's pronunciations, but you never know. Kernunos, Osiris, and Apollo. I definitely know that I got the last two right, but I'm not for sure about that first one. Um, and then the goddess names. You can also call. Her as Diana. Mm, Lucina. Selena. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry, guys. Lu Lucina S Selena. I'm so tired. <laughs> I told you guys. Just bear with me. Um... Now, with these, I mean, I just call by just, you know, when I do pray to my God and Goddess, I pray, just, I just say God or Goddess. I don't say anything like the actual, like, names that you could call them. I just call them by that because it's a lot easier on me, and if I do pronounce their name wrong, I don't want them to feel... I don't, I don't want to feel like I'm disrespecting them in a way because I'm not. Um, so if you guys just, uh, holy crap. So my thing is they tell you in this book right here. that you can do something oh and just in case if you don't can't like read that or whatever I'll see if I can put it in the description box but it's called Wicca a guide for the solitary practitioner and it's by Scott Cunningham and like I said I love this book um they say that for the god I can't remember really anything about the goddess I have it all written down but something that I um, read today and wrote down. It said if you don't wish to vis visualize the God for visualization can impose limitations simply attune to the energies pouring down from the sun. And even if it's like cloudy the God in the God's energies will still reach you and to fill them with your magical imagination. Now it says see chapter 11 for that um, just to probably explain more, because there's different exercises you can do with that, and I really find that interesting, so I really am excited to get to chapter 11. I'm not going to skip ahead because of the fact I don't like doing that. I think it kind of, I mean, it doesn't really ruin this book. But you would be a lot, you would be majorly confused if they use something like in the beginning of the book and you just like went all the way to chapter 11. So, you're supposed to reach out with your feelings, open your awareness to higher things, and call upon the God in any words, and express your desire to attune with him. You're supposed to practice these exercises daily for a whole week, which is seven days. And if you wish to explore the concepts of the god and goddess, read books on mytho mythology from any country in the world. Um, 
You're supposed to read the myth, but look for their underlying themes. And the more you read, the more information you'll have at your fingertips. Um, eventually, it'll come. It will, you know, merge into a complex knowledge bank concerning the deities. And so, in other words, you'll get to know them way better. I'm actually have been looking at. I don't know what I did with my papers with that. I had a whole list. I'm not done. I'm, I went on Barnes & Noble last night. You're going to hear something. Apparently not. Usually my thing makes a sound when I unplug it. But probably. Oh, oh. Just dropped something. Okay, hold on. I think I know where they're at. It's, I have the I want with books and stuff. And I was on Barnes & Noble last night. And I just looked up the word Wicca for all books and I just went through and mo they're mostly paperback I believe so and how many do I have I have so far 51 and I'm not done yet I'm only like the second or third page of it and there's some really interesting books and one that I thought was really cool, if I can find it first, just bear with me, guys. Um, here's one that you guys may want to check out. Um, the Wicca Bible, The Definitive Guide to Magic and the Craft by Anne Marie Galler, something like that. Um, I'll put that in the lovely box below, and I'll mark that so I don't forget because I will. I'm very forgetful. Um, so that one might have been really cool. Um, if can find it. I honestly thought I saw one about mythology. It was really interesting. I think I didn't write it down. Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to read really quick. Glad I have nice handwriting right now. Uh-oh. I don't think I have. <sighs> well, here's something you guys might want to check out. It's called the Wicca Source Book. A Complete Guide for the Modern Witch by... Dang it. I just have to pick the ones with the bad names that I can pronounce. I'm not even going to pronounce it. I'm just going to put it down in the description box. So. Oh, um, there's one on Philosophy of Wicca <clears throat> by Amber Lane Fisher. I'm also going to put that one down in the, in the box. And if you guys can find any books or anything that you think that I might like, um, that I haven't, uh, I haven't said anything on here. I would put all of these in the box, but I don't know what max I'm allowed to put in here. Because I don't want to overwhelm you guys too much. Because I know if you get overwhelmed too much, you're just like, I don't want to do anything. Because I'm, I'm the same way. You get so stressed and frustrated that you just can't think. So, that's pretty much all I'm going to put in the description box. Um, if you guys have any questions, concerns... Um, just comment below and comment, subscribe, and like our videos because we love to hear back from you guys. And I know we've been like super busy. And that's my mommy and not my brother. So just, you guys, just check stuff out. Um, again, anything you guys want to let us know, just comment below. And thank you guys for watching our videos. Blessed be, guys.